This is Jared Bernstein, the chairman of the White House Council of Economic Advisors. On Thursday, May 18th, Bernstein appeared on Neil Cavuto's show on Fox Business, and it was a bleep show. You know, Jared, um, I understand your frustration sometimes when you look at the data and Americans don't buy the data, but they really don't buy the president telling them that they're essentially wrong. It's not that bad. So how do you navigate that? Well, that's not at all what the president tells them. And in fact, yesterday, if you look at his statement, which is on the White House uh, website, he pointed out, I think one of his first sentences is, we know families are still struggling with prices that are too high. But the reality is that Joe Biden's statement, which Joe Biden absolutely did not write, contradicts several of Joe Biden's recent claims. Let's go to the videotape. Less than six months to go to election day. Are you worried that you're running out of time to turn that around? We've already turned around. Look, the idea that we're in a, it's a situation where things are so bad, the folk that, I mean, we've created more jobs. We've made, we're in a situation where people have access to good paying jobs. Over 60% of the people in America feel they're, they're personally in good shape. But the fact is that if you take a look at what the men people have, they have the money to spend. The pay for the jobs are, are outpacing the inflation rate they're paying. So which is it? We know families are still struggling with high prices or Americans feel they're in good shape and they have the money to spend. But look, we have dramatically reduced inflation from 9% down to close to 3%. Wrong. The inflation rate slowed. Inflation hasn't been reduced. In fact, it is nearly 20% higher than it was when this incompetent took office. But I mean, no president's had the run we've had in terms of creating jobs and bringing down inflation. It was 9% when I came to office. I think inflation has gone slightly up. It was at 9% when I came in. Yep, more lies from Lion Biden. Inflation wasn't at 9%, it was at 1.4%. And Neil Cavuto took the opportunity to call Biden out on it. Jared, why does he keep saying that? You're his top economic, you're the head of the Council of Economic Advisors. Do you ever whisper in his ear, Mr. President, just to be technical about it, it was at 9% when you assumed office, it was 1.4%. It got as high as 9% in 2022. You brought it down from that, but it was never, ever, ever 9% when you came into office. So why does he keep saying? No one in the Biden administration has the integrity to admit that Biden was lying through his fake teeth. So instead, brace yourself because it's gaslighting time. Well, first of all, let me point out that in that very quote you played, the president talked about how concerned he was uh, for households uh, struggling with prices that he consistently That's not what I asked you. That's high. not what I asked okay, you. So Why does he that? keep misrepresenting okay. this? Misrepresenting is a more polite word for lying. And it's not just Biden. It's pretty much everyone in his administration. And Jared Bernstein is no exception. He's making the point uh, that the factors that caused inflation to climb to 9% were in place when he took office. No, I think that's it was not by... what he said. He said it was at 9%. It would eventually so get the... to 9% a little over a year after that. But the fact of well, the that's... matter is it wasn't 9%. So if I can't trust him quoting data in real time, why should I believe what he's talking about now? And the answer is you shouldn't. So the annual uh, growth in core inflation in the second quarter of 21 uh, was in fact about 9%. And his point about inflation down 60% off its peak is very much the case. So no, look, it wasn't, uh, it, was not at, it was not at that. So you're, you're almost as bad as he is. So for clarity, core inflation represents change in the costs of goods and services, excluding food and energy. Because food and energy are the most volatile elements of the consumer price index. With that said, core inflation during the second quarter of 2021 was not remotely 9%. In fact, core inflation hasn't been higher than 6.6% during Biden's entire administration. In other words, Jared Bernstein is just making shit up. Not to mention that Joe Biden wasn't even talking about core inflation in the first place. The lengths that the Biden administration go to defend Joe Biden of all people is shameful and embarrassing. Sad, really. Why can't you just say, 
it was high, it got as high as 9%. You'd be accurate in saying that. And we have now brought it down and we're struggling in around the 3% area, but it's better than it was. But instead, to hang Listen, it on I, his predecessor, to hang it on his predecessor I, I, that you inherited something that was through the roof when we were in the middle of COVID, it just seems to the American people, so, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, hold, hold you're on, lying, yeah. you're just lying. Well, hold on. It was not 9%. Stop it with the 9% because the more you say that, the more people don't believe what you're saying. Okay, look, when you're an employee in Joe Biden's White House, you're constantly forced to respond to Joe Biden's screw ups. Going into damage control mode is one thing now. It's another to blatantly lie, especially when you've been called out on it multiple times. Look, I think what the American people care most about is it's the fact truth. that in, inflation, the American people inflation, care about truth, Jared. Hold on, Neil. Neil, this only works if you let me talk, okay? You haven't answered inflation, my question. I've asked it five times, five, five ways. The, the, the president was making the point that the factors that caused inflation were in place when he took office, and that's unequivocally oh, true. All right. I think what matters today is, are we making progress on lowering costs as well as lowering inflation? You know, they're not the same thing. Lowering both inflation and costs on behalf of the American people. And the gaslighting never ends with these people. Everyone knows that Joe Biden's economy sucks. Yet Jared is like, we're lowering inflation and lowering costs. Uh, I, the, the president was making the point that I think is unequivocally true. The factors that uh, took inflation to 9% were in place when he took that office. That is, is not what he said, Jared, and you're a very smart guy with this stuff. Let me stop you there, Neil. When it comes to economics, believe me, Jared Bernstein is in fact not a very smart guy with this stuff. Here's a clip from the documentary Finding the Money. The U.S. government can't go bankrupt because we can print our own money. Like you said, they print the dollar. So why, why does the government even borrow? Well, um, the, uh, so the, I mean, again, some of this stuff gets, some of the language that the MM, some of the language and concepts are just confusing. I mean, the government definitely prints money and it definitely lends that money, which is why, uh, now, the government definitely prints money, and then it lends that money by, uh, by selling bonds. Uh, is that what they do? Oh. My. God. They, they, um, they, yeah, they, they, um, they sell bonds. Yeah, they sell bonds, right? Because they sell bonds and people buy the bonds and lend them the money. Yeah, so. Holy. November can't come soon enough. Now, as a rule, I generally don't use Wikipedia as a source, but here I will make an exception. Jared Bernstein is an American musician who is the chair of the United States Council of Economic Advisors. It should also be noted that Bernstein has a bachelor's degree in fine arts from the Manhattan School of Music, a master's degree in social work from Hunter College, and a master's degree in philosophy and a PhD in social welfare from Columbia University. There is no question that the government prints money and then it uses that money to, um, uh, 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 so, um, I say that, uh. So the chief economic advisor to the highest elected official in the United States not only doesn't have an economics degree, but doesn't even understand economics. Fucking clown world, am I right? Yeah, I, I guess I'm just, I don't, I can't really talk. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what they're talking about. Like, cause it's like the government clearly prints money. It does it all the time and it clearly borrows. Otherwise we wouldn't be having this debt and deficit conversation. So I don't think there's anything confusing there. And on that sad note, that's it for now. Follow me on X at Don't Walk Run, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. If there is a next time. <laughs>